This is In for Life TV headline news, February 13th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. After hosting Defense Minister Hud Barak in Ankara, Turkish Defense Minister Vekdi Gonol told reporters that the proposed purchase of the Israeli made Ofik satellite was under discussion at the technical level. After meeting with his Turkish counterpart, Barak told reporters that Israel views Turkey as a power that projects self confidence and understands the problems of the region. Convinced that the question of borders is the simplest of the three core issues in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the other two being refugees in Jerusalem, and that sufficient preparatory work has been done for progress to be achieved, Prime Minister Olmert told reporters Tuesday that it is possible to advance significantly the resolution of the issue of borders in negotiations between Israel and the Palestinian Authority. An idea of soldier of the artillery corps manning a checkpoint south of Jenin was moderately wounded Tuesday afternoon after being stabbed in the neck by a Palestinian teenager who later claimed to belong to the Islamic Jihad. The soldier was taken to the Hillel Yafe Hospital in Hadera. The incident occurred as soldiers conducted a routine inspection of Palestinian cars. Senator Barack Obama powered past Hillary Rodham Clinton in the race for Democratic Convention delegates on a night of triumph sweetened with outsized primary victories in Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. Tonight we're on our way, he told cheering supporters as he celebrated eight straight victories over Clinton. The World Bank said on Tuesday Israel and the Palestinian Authority should open the Palestinian mobile phone sector to competition in order to improve efficiency and lower tariffs. The Paltel Group, whose subsidiary Jawal is the only authorized mobile operator in the West Bank and Gaza, effectively operates as a monopoly. Elsewhere on InfoLife TV, from Berlin to Jerusalem, an interview with the Israeli producer of Brides of Allah. And a triumph to the blind and hard of hearing Israel's first deaf and blind theater company. That's all for InfoLife TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world. Descubra el nuevo servicio de InfoLife TV. Reciba gratis en su teléfono celular información en video sobre Israel y el Medio Oriente. Noticias al instante, todos los días, la mejor cobertura. Con solo un clic, manténganse en contacto con el Medio Oriente en vivo desde Jerusalén. InfoLive TV, el primer canal de televisión en el mundo que transmite por Internet en cuatro idiomas en vivo desde Jerusalén. Para tener una mirada directa sobre Israel y el Medio Oriente, InfoLive TV se encuentra allí. En el corazón de la información, en el corazón de la historia, en el corazón de Israel. InfoLive TV.